The simple things we take for granted are all precious gifts to Modesto resident Gina Arada. Outside, like the birds and the noises and the sunlight, but um, even walking, putting on your own shoes, buttoning your pants. Simple things that she was not able to do just a few years ago. A devastating car accident in 2001 left Arada with burst lungs and brain bruising and searing. She was in a coma for 14 days. When she woke up, the law school hopeful was no longer able to comprehend books or even normal conversations. Like you could tell me something and then I would ask you the same question, like, five minutes later and they'd be like, I answered that question already for you. But I had no idea, no recollection. In 2018, Arata was presented with a chance to fix the problems she was having through Stanford Medicine, a first of its kind procedure that would surgically implant a device deep into her brain to stimulate and activate the neural networks that were subdued by the car crash. Stanford's Jamie Henderson said brain functions can be dimmed after traumatic injury, and these sensors turn the dimmer switch back up for Arata. When we activated the stimulator, it the results were actually pretty remarkable. So she went from being unable to read through a novel or a book uh, to actually reading and remembering novels. I wasn't capable of holding down a relationship. I wasn't capable of having children and being a mother. And I feel like this is, device is giving me the opportunity to possibly have those. More than 5 million Americans live with impacts from severe traumatic brain injuries. And Arata hopes her willingness to be the first patient to try this new procedure can help others going forward. I hope that I could provide the opportunity for other people who suffer injuries, such as a brain injury, um, so I can, so they can provide them with the opportunity to have families and have relationships and get a job and drive their cars essentially to live the life they thought was lost.